In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to apply an outline and then how to edit that outline to an, a, an object. So I'll just go to page 2 here. Uh, in this case, I'm going to just import something rather than design it from scratch, just so that we've got something quick to show you. So I'll just import this, which is just a uh, PDF file that I've got um, created in uh, the samples folder there. And if I go to wireframe mode, you can see that this is just wireframe here. And what I'm going to do here applies to basically any vector object or text. It's the same thing. So I mean, I could draw out a, a shape here or type in some text and do it. But I'll just use this as an example, just so you can see it working with you know different types of objects. You've got objects and text here, so it's a good example of this. So I want to apply an outline to this, not a pen style, an outline. And the difference between pen style and outline is that pen style unless you convert it to curves isn't cuttable. So pen styles are great for, um, I can show you, I can right click here and I can uh, apply a pen, uh, pen style to this and um, you know give it a thickness here and you can see the pen styles coming in. But we don't want to do that, I'll just right click on this tool here to turn the pen style off because we want to cut this outline and we want to set thicknesses and things and different options that you can't do with the pen style. So the first thing to do is to apply the outline. So I'll select the object here and I come over to this tool here and I click on these, this fly out by just left clicking on it. So if I click on outline, you can see it applies an outline. And the default offset is 10% with an inset of 3.5%. So if I set the inset to say 0%, you can see there's no inset anymore. And if I set the offset to say 3%, we've now just got like a typical type outline. And I can then change these uh, amounts. I can use the on-screen controllers here. So I've got these four points here. So I can increase it like that, as I had before, bring it right in, and adjust the offsets using the mouse. And I can also do that with the inset. I can actually increase the inset by using the mouse there. Now, I'll just explain you what the inset is. The inset isn't actually white. The inset's just see-through. In other words, it's the, it's the it's <laughs> We call it inset. It's actually an offset of the uh, of the inside of the um, of the outline. So if I draw a square here, and I send that to the back, I'll make it yellow, and then I'll go order send it back. You can see what's happening here if I zoom in. The inset there is actually just uh, see through. So if I go to wireframe, you can see that you've got the inside of the uh, outline and the outside of the outline going around. And of course, this is cuttable vectors. So go back to wireframe, and you can see so clearly this area here, around this F here, is see-through because there's just no data there. This is just that the outline, that's the inside of the outline and the outside of the outline. So I click on that and delete that. So you can see what that's, what's happening there. And I, it, to re-edit this, I come down and I'll see this button appears here. So I can click on that button or I can go up to the effects here. I go edit effects and I've got outline there. Or I can come here and I can go edit effects and I've got outline here. So there's several ways of getting to this. And I get my on-screen controllers, which I can still control here like so. And I can edit, edit this on the screen. So I can edit numerically. I can set this to say 2%. And I can set the offset to say 0.5%. And I can set these settings. Other things I can do is set the outline color. So I might want to make it red, for example. Or I might want to make it uh, yellow or you know whatever color I'm looking for. Um, you know, This is entirely up to me what I want to set it to. And as you can see, it just does whatever I ask it to. The other thing that Outline does, um, which is quite a nice tool or nice handy thing to have, is it actually sets the type or the corner type or the outline style. So I can set it to mitered. Now, in this particular example, let's just see where we see an example. Of that. So up here, if I change that back to, I'll just click Undo. You can see I've got in the corners here, around the corners, if I click uh, redo, reapply that mitre, you can see what it's doing with the uh, the corner style there, or the outline style. If I make it round, it makes it nice and round. If I make it sharp, as it originally was, it makes it sharp. Smooth, that's sort of a compromise between uh, sharp and round. Or default, which is basically sharp. So that's how I set, um, I set my uh, style, my outline style. And that's a nice thing to have, that outline style, because you can really change the look of a of an, of an outline by changing these things uh, between sharp and round. But of course this all depends on the artwork itself. So what works with some artwork won't work with other artwork. Now I can turn it off by the outline by clicking this button here so I can hide effects or read show effects. I can also lock the effects so that I can't edit them on screen and I can also uh, click on this button to bring up my outline tools 
in the second row of tools here, when I'm in object mode I see my outline tools up here. So that's how we apply an outline and how we edit an outline. It's really quite easy. Um, and if you set your offset to zero, as so, and say so make my uh, my inset to zero, sorry, my offset to say two percent, you can see that I've just got a a vanilla type uh, outline going on here, and I can now send this to my plotter. I'll just make that a bit smaller to fit in for you to show you, and you can see I've got my original blue of the logo, my blue outline that I've created, and my other colours as usual. So that's how we create an outline. Uh, very easy and you've got lots of control on how you, uh, you apply it. And that's the end of this lesson.